डिटरमिन द कानेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ ए बेल्ट ऑफ मास एम इफ द ट्रैक्टर मूव विद वेलोसिटी वी द ट्रैक्टर बेल्ट एंड इट्स मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी वी वी नीड टू फाइंड द कानेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द बेल्ट इफ मास इज एम सो यू कैन सी ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस बेल्ट आर मूविंग विद डिफरेंट वेलोसिटी सो लेट्स टेक दिस बेल्ट अपार्ट इन फोर डिफरेंट पीसेस so this part of the belt this circular part and this circular part of the belt can be combined together so that it becomes a rolling ring kind of thing and then this part is at rest and this part will be moving with velocity 2v so if you have any doubt so this part is at rest because it is rolling so if this is 0 this is v then this is 2v So we have reconfigured this whole belt into three parts, and now, now let's find the kinetic energy of all three parts. So this is at rest, bottom part. So kinetic energy is zero. Kinetic energy of this uh, this part of the belt will be half mv square plus half i omega square because it is rolling, and i will be mr square. So this comes to be mv square. So it's a handy result. So for the ring, the kinetic energy for the rolling ring, kinetic energy is mv square. So that will be mass of a into v square. This is and top part half m b into two v square. So these are the kinetic energies for the all three parts. Let's add them to find the total kinetic energy. So k one plus k two plus k three. K one is equal to m a into v square. K two becomes two m b into v square, and k three will be zero. So this becomes m a plus two m b into v square. so m a plus 2 times m b so that covers the whole belt and the answer therefore comes to be m v square so quite interestingly it is independent of the radius of the rollers all right